Now for these questions, we need to subtract a fraction from a mixed number with one whole. So first, we have 1 and 3 fifths, and we need to subtract 4 fifths. But we have a problem here. We only have 3 fifths in our mixed number, but we want to take 4 fifths away. So what we need to do is to change our mixed number to an improper fraction. So as an improper fraction, 1 and 3 fifths is 8 fifths. That's because 1 times 5 is 5, and then if we add the numerator, 5 plus 3 is 8. So now, we can subtract 4 fifths. Remember, when we subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 8 minus 4 is 4, so our answer is 4 fifths. Now, we have 1 and 2 sevenths, but we need to take 5 sevenths away. So, we need to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 2 is 9, and the denominator stays the same when we change it from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So now, we found that 1 and 2 sevenths is the same as 9 sevenths, so we can subtract our 5 sevenths. The denominator stays the same, and 9 minus 5 is 4, so our answer is 4 sevenths. Now, 1 and 1 quarter minus 3 quarters. Again, we need to change 1 and 1 quarter to an improper fraction. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and the denominator stays the same. So now, we can subtract 3 quarters, the denominator stays the same in our answer, 5 minus 3 is 2, so that's 2 quarters. And finally, 1 and 1 third minus 2 thirds. So, we can change 1 and 1 third to 4 thirds, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so now, when we take 2 thirds away, we get 2 thirds as our answer. And let's see what was happening here. So first, we started with 1 and 3 fifths, but we needed to take 4 fifths away. So what we did was really to change our 1 whole into fifths. That's why 1 and 3 fifths as an improper fraction is 8 fifths, because now you can see that each of these parts is a fifth, and we have 8 parts altogether. So now, we can subtract 1, 2, 3, 4 fifths to give 4 fifths what's left as our answer. Then we had 1 and 2 sevenths, but we needed to take 5 sevenths away. So instead of 1 and 2 sevenths, we thought of that as being 9 sevenths. So we haven't changed the fraction, we haven't changed what's shaded at least, but we've represented the fraction in a way so that we can take 5 sevenths away. And if we subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sevenths, you can see that we now have 4 sevenths left. Then we had 1 and 1 quarter. We changed that to an improper fraction so that we could take 1, 2, 3 quarters away to give us 2 quarters as our answer. And finally, we had 1 and 1 third but we needed to take two thirds away. And to do that, we needed to split our one whole into thirds as well. So we had four thirds. Then we subtracted two of those thirds to give us two thirds as our answer. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.